Now to Tibet, where yesterday the Chinese government took a handful of foreign journalists on a carefully orchestrated tour of the capital. The first access granted to international media since violent demonstrations erupted there two weeks ago. But yesterday's tour didn't quite go according to plan. With more now, here's ABC's Stephanie Tsai. The Chinese government organized a carefully controlled field trip for journalists. The plan was to show the region is calm and under control. This was not part of the script. During a briefing at one of the Tibetan capital's most important temples, 30 monks burst in and stole the spotlight. They treat us unjustly, said this monk, referring to Chinese security guards. They lock us up, don't allow us to go out. Another monk says, we don't have freedom, we just want freedom. Witnesses say this was one of the few unrehearsed moments of the three-day trip. It was extremely tense. Uh, the monks knew that they were taking a huge risk. They, you know, the ones that were able to talk to acknowledged that they were probably arrested, but they, they said they were prepared to take that risk. The Chinese government wanted its trip for select journalists to show what it considers an isolated criminal act by supporters of the Dalai Lama. The video clearly shows the destruction of Chinese businesses. But what is also clear is that the riots in Tibet are rooted in deeper discontent. In Nepal, home of the Dalai Lama, protests in support of the monks continue. I think this is time the Chinese government or concerned, I think the officials, I think must accept the reality. I think that's important. Despite the conflict, the Dalai Lama has said he supports China's hosting of the Olympic Games. President Bush called the Chinese president Wednesday, encouraging him to engage in a substantive dialogue with the Dalai Lama. Those calls have been made many times before, and that has never happened. Stephanie Tsai, ABC News, Beijing.